trigonometric functions. Question number one. Find sine eighteen degree cos eighteen degree cos thirty six degree sine thirty six degree sine fifty four degree sine seventy two degree cos fifty four degree and cos seventy two degrees. Let's find out the values one by one. Now we are going to find the value of sine theta. That is sine eighteen degree. So here, if theta equal to eighteen degrees, then two theta will be thirty six degree, and five theta will be ninety degree. So we write two theta equal to ninety minus three theta. We can apply sine on both the sides. Sine two theta equals sine ninety minus three theta, and we know that sine ninety minus theta gives cos theta. So we get cos three theta. Now we expand two sine theta cos theta equal to four cos cube theta minus three cos theta. Now we can divide each term by cos theta. And cos theta is not equal to zero, so we get four cos square theta minus three minus two sine theta equal to zero, or we rearrange it four one minus sine square theta minus Two sine theta minus three equal to zero. So we can simplify it further. So we get four minus four sine square theta minus two sine theta. Minus three equal to zero, or minus four sine square theta minus two sine theta plus one equal to zero. Now we apply quadratic formula that is x equal to minus b plus minus root of b square. Minus four AC divided by two A. So here, variable is sine theta. So sine theta equals minus B. That is two plus minus root of B square. That is four minus four AC. So A is minus four into C is one. Divided by twice of A. That is minus four. Now we further simplify. So it becomes sine theta equals two plus minus four to the sixteenth plus four twenty, and twenty can be written as two root five. 
this is minus eight. So two plus minus two root five divided by minus eight. Here we have to get the value of sine theta positive. So we write it as sine theta equals root five minus one divided by four, which implies sine 18 degree equal to root five minus one divided by four. We have got the value of sine 18 degree. Now we will make use of this value to get cos 18 degree. So now our purpose is to get cos 18 degree. So cos theta equal to root of one minus sine square theta. So cos 18 degree will be equal to root of one minus sine square 18 degree. And we have got the value of sine 18 as root five minus one divided by four. So this value we can put so one minus root five minus one divided by four whole square. So we simplify it to so cos 18 degree equal to so inside the root one minus five plus one minus two root five divided by 16. So it becomes 16 minus six plus Two root five divided by sixteen, which is equal to square root ten plus two root five divided by four. So this is value of cos eighteen. Now let's consider cos thirty six degrees. So we can write cos two theta, as we know, cos two theta is one minus two sine square theta. So here cos 36 degree equal to one minus two sine square 18 degree. So this would be equal to one minus two sine 18 is root five minus one divided by four whole square. If we simplify, we get one minus two, five plus one minus two root five divided by 16. So after simplification, we get root five plus one divided by four. Now let's consider sine 36 degree. So sine 36 degree can be written as root of one minus cos of the square 36 degree. And we have just evaluated cos 36 degree equal to root five plus one divided by four. So this will become one minus root five plus one divided by four whole squared. So we simplify it, so we get one minus six plus two root five divided by 16, which on simplification gives a root 10 minus two root five, whole divided by four. So we have got sine 36 degrees. Now, sine 72 degree it can be written as sine 90 degree minus 18 degree. 
which will be cos 18 degree and we know cos 18 equal to root of 10 plus 2 root 5 divided by 4. Now, sin 54 degree equal to sin 90 minus 36, which is cos 36 degree. And we have got the value of cos 36 as root 5 plus 1 divided by 4. Now, cos 72 degree is cos 90 minus 18 that is sine 18 degree and we know sine 18 is root 5 minus 1 divided by 4 and last one is cos 54 degree which is equal to cos 90 minus 36 degree which will be equal to sine 36 degree and we have obtained the value of sine 36 as the root of 10 minus 2 root 5 divided by 4. Now let's consider second question. Question number 2. If sine theta plus cosec theta equal to 2, then what is the value of sine 10 theta plus cosec 10 theta? So let's consider the solution. Sine theta plus cosec theta equal to two. So we can write it further. Sine theta plus one upon sine theta equal to two, or sine square theta minus two sine theta plus one equal to zero which further implies sine theta minus one whole square equal to zero or sine theta equal to one. If sine theta equal to one, then cos theta will also be, sorry, then cos theta will also be one. Hence, sine power 10 theta plus cos power 10 theta will be equal to 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2. Now, let's consider next question. Question number 3. What is the value of sine pi by 16, sine 3 pi by 16, sine 5 pi by 16, into sine 7 pi by 16. Now, we know the formula sine A sine B equals 1 by 2 cos A minus B minus cos A plus B. So we write sine 7 pi by 6 times sine pi by 6 times sine 5 pi by 6 times sine 3 pi by 6. So it becomes 1 by 2 cos 6 the question was 16, sorry, 
So here 16, 16, 16. So cos 6 pi by 16 minus cos pi by 16. So here y cos pi by 16, 7 pi plus pi, 8 pi, 8 pi by 16, that is pi by 2. Okay. And uh, next one will be 1 by 2 and uh, cos here difference 2 pi by 16 and minus cos it will become 5 pi minus 3 pi. So if 5 pi plus 3 pi is 8 pi by 16, that is pi by 2. So here, this is also pi by 2. So this will be 0. This will also be 0. So we will be left with 1 by 4 times cos 6 pi by 16 times cos 2 pi by 16. Now further, we can write the formula. We know that cos A cos B is equal to 1 by 2 cos A plus B plus cos A minus B. So from here, we will get 1 by 4 multiplied by 1 by 2 and then cos 8 pi by 16, that is pi by 2 plus difference of the two, that is 4 pi by 16, that is cos pi by 4. So this term will be 0, but this term will give 1 upon root 2. So answer will be 8 root 2. Let's consider next question. Question number 4. If in a right angle triangle, if in a right angled triangle, the length of the perpendicular drawn from the vertex upon hypotenuse is one fourth of that of hypotenuse then one angle of the triangle is options are 30 degree 15 degree 60 degree and 45 degree Let's find out which one is correct option. So we draw right angle triangle. This angle is 90 degree. And we draw perpendicular from here. Suppose this is A, this is C, this is B, and this is D. We are given AD equal to X, BC equal to 4x. This is x, this is equal to 4x. And suppose ab equal to, let ab equal to c. Now, in the triangle, in the right triangle, bac. Cos b. Base upon hypotenuse that is AB 
c upon 4x. Now, in right triangle, a, d, b. In a right triangle, a, d, b. Find b equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So here, this angle is also 90 degree. So x upon a, b, a, b is c. So x upon a, b, that is x upon a b that is x upon c now we multiply these two so sine b cos b equals c upon 4x times x upon c which gives sine b cos b equal to 1 by 4. now we multiply it by 2. So 2 sin b cos b equals 1 by 2. 2 sin b cos b equal to sin 2b. So sin 2b equal to and uh, 1 by 2 is value of sin 30 degree. Sin 30 degree. From here we get b equal to 15 degree which is our answer. So correct option is 15 degree. Thank you.